So today we're going to do an inbox review of the Gaz 05194 Ambulance from Mini Art in 135 scale. This is a it's a pre-war vehicle that they put uh, rebuilt to uh, to carry soldiers from the battlefield when they were wounded. Um, it's a dually and it's an old looking truck, but. Uh, it's something a little different, and ambulances are always good, but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, take a look at this kit and see how it looks. Please like and subscribe, and ring that bell when you want to see when I upload new videos. And thanks for watching, people. So here's the, the box from the gas ambulance. It's Russian vehicle they used in World War II to evacuate wounded soldiers from the battlefield. It says it's a highly detailed kit. Here we have the book with color illustrations of the uh, both versions in dark green one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 trees, photo etch, and decals. These will be clear, that's a windshield. That one too. Oh, these are all clear, maybe this one too. Start here with the motor. So it has a full motor and chassis, gearboxes, drivetrain, putting all these parts together here, still the drivetrain, the wheels, Exhausts, A-frame for the front, you're putting the uh, wheels on. bed putting the parts to the uh, the cover on cabinets inside You can uh, make the back open. Looks so like you have to cut. You have to cut the doors. I would make it that way though, so you can see the inside. Engine cover. And the sides. This looks like an older vehicle. Most likely a, a pre-war vehicle that they. We did simple, simple decals, but uh, these vehicles didn't have a lot of markings. The 
clear parts look good. Here's a photo itch as well. There's just a couple panels on it. There's probably more you can get for it. Take a look at a couple of these, some of these trees. The parts look molded pretty clearly and it even has here the lines and the, and the fenders. There's some marking that's going to have to be smoothed out here. This is the other side, same thing. But they look like they're molded really good. It looks really good, um, like it's molded really well. You have bolts here. There's lines here. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. I don't think so. It's probably going to be sanded down to make it smooth. Smooth it out. It's on all these parts here. There's no flash to speak of, as of yet. Take a look at these body panels here. The inside looks good. It still has these lines here. So on the outside, on both sides, There's some lines in it. Paint may cover it, but I would do a light sanding of it to smooth it out. Pin marks in the fenders underneath. They may not be that bad because the wheel's gonna, the tire is gonna be up here. A couple more small trees. And these are molded, it looks like fabric. More body panels. It still has these lines in it. It's smooth though, which means paint will probably cover it. But I would still sand it a little, or polish it a little, to get the lines out. This one is really bad though, here. This side's not, but here you can see it. Here as well. There's three lines here and one here. That's going to need some work, I believe. On the bottom is a lot of pin marks here. So if you leave the doors open, with doors closed, it wouldn't be noticeable, I don't think. But with doors closed, or with doors open, you would have to clean it up. And here is no pin marks on these doors. It's a lot of parts. Parts for the tires and wheels. The tires look good, and they have good tread. Pin marks overall on this side, but they're going together so you won't see it. Another one of these trees. These are all the back wheels. But here's a third one. Oh yeah, it has a dually. It's a dually. Yeah, it's a dually, so it's I think maybe too many of them. Mm. 
mean, this has not that's 20 wheels. If I'm counting correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. It has 12 wheels. I think there's more parts in here than it should be. Like twice as many. And here's the frame. The bolts can be seen good here. Parts for the uh, suspension. Wood panels. It has a pretty, pretty good grain in it, but it might not be deep enough to get the paint in there good, so it can be shown. I have to really feather it really, really good. Parts to the drivetrain, springs, shocks. No flash. Here's the second one of this one. Same thing. No flash. The moldings look really good, in my opinion. That's a stretcher. Get three of them. That's a stretcher. That's not a stretcher. That's a panel. That's probably a seat. This one as well. And here's a couple panels as well. They all have these weird lines on them though. A lot of these parts. A lot of the bigger parts. Some small, some more smaller detail parts. A couple of like canvas bags. Yeah, fabric again. More engine parts. This is all engine suspension. Front wheels and the rims. Steering wheel. This has a large number of parts to it. The moldings look pretty good, <coughs> but there's a, a lot of uh, unevenness in the molding of uh, on on the body panels, especially. It's going to have to be. Um, smoothed out. Uh, the fenders, the fenders on the top of the cab have pin marks. It's going to have to be taken care of, especially if you want to make an open model. If you want to make the doors open. But it, with with a little extra work, uh, it will turn into a really good. Rendition of uh, a gas 05194 ambulance. So I would say this is a this is a pretty good uh, kit with a few small problems. And uh, I would say it would, it, it's it's worth the buy. It wasn't it didn't cost that much. It was like forty isn't it? around forty yeah. And a lot of extra detail, I don't think anybody really needs. There might, there might be some stuff missing on the inside, like uh, equipment that they used back then. But that's missing on, that's missing on a lot of models. They don't, they usually just, they, they usually just include what is with the vehicle and not extra equipment that the, the soldiers or the personnel would have. 
So it may be worth taking a look there to see if there's anything extra you can buy as far as equipment. Or you can you can make some of your own, like uh, extra bags and stuff like that. And maybe, I'm sure they probably had some rifles too. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be without protection. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty good. It'll take a little extra work to get it smooth, the panel smooth. But uh, I think it's, I think it'll be worth it. It's a nice looking kit. And it's a really detailed kit. It has, comes with a full motor and a full interior. And that's all I have to say on this one. So, have a nice day, y'all. And until next time.